It was an anticlimactic end to what had been a pivotal week in the Ibrahim Ali trial. Ali is charged with first degree murder of a 13 year old girl whose body was found in Burnaby Central Park in July 2017. Her name is protected by a publication ban. This week, the jury spent three days hearing testimony from the doctor who performed the autopsy on the victim, but that came to a quick halt on Thursday morning. The jury briefly entered the courtroom before the judge told them that Ali was, quote, not well. And they were sent home again this morning without ever setting foot in court. These delays have been piling up. The Crown's opening statement had been pushed back a month since the original start date of the trial. And just this week, Justice Lance Bernard told the jury that the trial's expected end date of June 30th was no longer realistic and that the trial could push into September and beyond. He's since received letters from various jurors regarding availability, but said he's confident the trial will be able to continue. The trial is expected to pick back up on Tuesday. Tuesday with further testimony from Dr. Jason Morin, who studied the 13 year old victim's body. This week, he outlined the various injuries he observed on her and a warning. Some details here might be disturbing. Among his major findings were what's called petechial hemorrhages on the young girl's face. Those are essentially small burst blood vessels. He told the jury he was certain the victim was strangled to death. The Crown's argument is that the young girl was passing through Burnaby Central Park on July 18th, 2017, when she was attacked and dragged into the woods before she was sexually assaulted and strangled to death. Dr. Morin also described injuries to the victim the Crown is expected to reference as it makes the case the victim was sexually assaulted. Morin said he also recovered DNA that was sent away for processing. The Crown says Ali's DNA was recovered from the scene. Prosecutors are expected to call witnesses who will testify on more forensic evidence next week. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.